Okay, let's try another. Uh, this one's good for uh, linear algebra and differential equations, uh, the Runskian method. So this is usually, uh, it pops up if you do variation of parameters in uh, differential equations, which I'll, I'll do an example on later. And it pops up a lot for determining linear independence and dependence in uh, linear algebra. So the basic concept is if you know anything about cross multiplication or, or what's that dot product? Uh, wait, no, 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 just cross multiplication. Um, you should be pretty good at this. Basically, what it says is uh, you can use W for run skin. F and G here are two different functions. Then you find the determinant of those two functions and then the derivatives of those functions. And you just cross multiply, so that way minus that way to get the determinant. So let's just do this right here. So I'll just write y1, y2, e to the x, x e to the x. Well, this one's easy enough, e to the x. This one used, um, what was that, product. First times the derivative of the second, I hope it opens for room here. First times the derivative of the second, plus second times the derivative of the first, that's just one. So I do have enough room. So then just keep writing it out. Uh, multiply this way. Sometimes it's easier if you actually don't multiply them out. I, I'll do that afterwards if it looks terrifying. Okay, let's see. Does it get terrifying? Does it get terrifying? Ah, eh, let's multiply it out then. Remember, this goes to 2x. So does this. There we go. Alright, look at that. This minus that. Well, we got one of each, so then... Okay, and what does this tell us? Well, this tells us that this, these two functions are linearly independent. Uh, the exact definition is, uh, in this case, y1 and y2 are linearly independent if and only if the Brunskian does not equal zero. And this clearly does not equal zero. Um, if the Vronskian does equal zero, then it is dependent. They're dependent on each other. Uh, as a... Let's see. I can't think off the top of my head really quick what's a good one, but if you picked like e to the x and e to the x, you know, that's going to equal zero. But this is just the, uh, the quick skinny of it. 